underrated fights uh, video for MMA Prediction Guru. This is uh, Chico Camus versus Derek Minner. Derek Minner is actually going to be fighting Darren Elkins this weekend on UFC ESPN 32. He's had a pretty good UFC run so far. He went in there, he submitted TJ Laramie pretty quick. He got a win in his last fight over Charles Rosa as an underdog. So he's the favorite in this one. And he's going to be taking on Darren Elkins. He's a veteran. He's a grinder. And I feel like this fight kind of illustrates a game plan that Darren Elkins could potentially go in there and do. So this is a fight uh, I want your guys' opinion on. I want to know what do you think about Derek Minner? What do you think about what potentially Darren Elkins could do if Derek Minner looks similar in this fight? Obviously, this is at 135 pounds. So he is going to be a little bit smaller as well uh, in terms of comparison to Darren Elkins, who's a 45er his whole career, but Minner has fared at 45 pretty well, so I don't think that's going to be a big deal. This fight is also from January of 2017, so keep that in mind. It isn't like it was just yesterday, but Der Derek Minner has losses, uh, you know, guys like Jordan Griffin, Chico Camus, Kevin Kroom, Herbert Burns, uh, Luke Sanders, a lot of wrestlers, a lot of grapplers, so... This is a fight that I think is relevant, and uh, what do you guys think of it? So enjoy the fight. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, and let's get this started. Stare down between Chico Camus and Derek Minner. Joe Fitbar, referee for this one. Set for three rounds at Bantamweight. Our co-main event of Legacy Fighting Alliance 2. Big hello to CM Punk. Phil Brooks watching live on Access TV, cheering on his teammate, Chico Camus. Hello, Phil. Go. How long will this one last? We've had all finishes so far tonight at Alave, two all inside of... Oh, last one was a third round choke. It's been a real legacy feel here tonight with all these finishes. They're going to be very, very careful standing up with Chico and doing this kickboxing routine. Chico unload on him. Great defense by Chico. Chico out of South Stars has that left hand cocked and ready, fires it down the center corridor. Nice outside leg kick from Minna. Minna shoots in on a single. That's the timing Minna has when somebody throws a kick, he is on their leg instantly. Chico trying his hardest to stay on his feet, Minna's got him down now. Chico's got his arm trapped inside of Minna's legs. Got to get that arm out of there so he can get wrist control. That is not a good place to be. So Chico trying to grab that head, pull him off the top. Mina closed at plus 365. Chico, the favorite at minus 555. Chico got to protect this neck. Nice job by Chico, definitely. Now he's battling for a takedown. Hunting for the double leg, gets a takedown as Chico pops his head out of a precarious situation. Hey, he just took down a good wrestler. That was nice. Apparently Ben Askren's been working with him over there. And I have to be honest, if I was training at Duke Rufus's, I would want to roll with Askren every day. That guy is a freak on the ground. You just want to train there for the free t-shirts, my word. He's got the best gym t-shirts of any gym, Duke Rufus. He does, Rufus. he does. And, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't train that. Get the hell beat out of me. <laughs> Close guard here from Derek Mina on his back. Body head goes Chico, shows speed, then switches to the left hand. Well, I tell you what, it's a shot to the confidence, positive and negative, both directions here with Chico Camus getting this takedown. Nice little elbow, Minna does a quick count of his teeth. Minna going for an armbar here, trying to get the angle. Chico holding him down and working him over right now. A win here for Chico could certainly position him in inside that top five pack. Absolutely. A win here for Mina could see him go further up the list. Cracking elbows, top of the head, opens up the guard, closes it now, Mina. Both these guys inflicting damage from this position. Big hello also to Stephen Ocho Peterson watching this one live on Access TV. Hope you're healing up okay, Ocho, you warrior. Yes, what a fight. He'll be keeping a close eye on this one. Could be future opponents here. You know, Minner's a good, solid wrestler. He needs to figure out how to just get back to his feet and reverse this position. Battling for the choke here. 
Threads the knee through nicely, Mina doubles up on it, tries for another choke, but Chico dances out of trouble. Mina looks a little fatigued. Just a slip there from Chico. Oh boy. Swung wildly, Chico. Mina shoots in for a take down attempt, goes low. Single leg, circling nicely. Got that foot on the opposite leg. Chico defending here. Chico looking good in the wrestling department, man. It's quite the detailed tattoo on Chico's back there, Pat. Mm -hmm. Nice underhook, got to lift hard, beautiful. Minna tried to catch him on the up. And back to center cage they go. 40 seconds remaining, first round. Minna with the spinner. Minna burned a ton of energy trying to get that takedown. Certainly the shoulders look fatigued. Minna breathing through his mouth, a little sloppy on the striking now. Oh. Chico covers up. Mina on his back for the final 20 seconds. I'm surprised Chico turned over like that. Cannot give this up. Need hand control, man. 10 seconds to the back. Looks like Chico will see out the round. We're going to go into the second. Great round by Chico Camus. Like I said, been working on his wrestling. Nice. Out wrestling the wrestler. of Derek Mina and you've got Mina trailing after the first round Pat Camus I think in my mind dominated that round for the most part out wrestled him second round you I was ready? well let you us ready? know your thoughts on Twitter what was your scorecard in the first at Chevello voice at Pat Militich at our crack let's go to our crack in Camus's corner the advice from his corner guys was they told him stop putting your hands around his head put your hands in his face and start hitting they also want him to throw more flurries michael thanks ron Hold it up to the right. controlling center octagon mina got a little sloppy with that uppercut almost left himself exposed i'm telling you he's tired chico looks fresh as a daisy Oh, beautiful thrusting left hand there from Chico. Oh. It's the right hand, finds the target. Oh, desperation takedown. He knew he was in trouble. Wrestler reverts back to the bread and butter and gets the takedown. Men are now operating on instinct. Hands on the inside, hands on the inside. There we go, brother. Hips are in, hips are in. Hips are in. Hips are in. Him up. Surprised there that Minna did that pack. Well, I, I'm surprised as a wrestler, you want to keep pressure on people and try and grind them out and wear them down. You're on top. Gravity's, gravity's in your favor. Here comes Mina. And Chico gets top position. Mina trying to sink a choke. Won't get it though. Chico's defense of these submissions has been very good. A real joust on the ground, at 1 minute 30 through the second round so far. Chico changing weight divisions, going up. Looks like it's paying off so far, Michael. A lot stronger, a lot more energetic, looks looks crisp. Looks relaxed too, Chico. Mm -hmm. And not tired. Nice control, nice control. There you go. Sit up on that a little bit, sit up on that a little bit. Mina. Lancing up the big screen, maybe to gauge how much time is left of the round. Throws the legs up here. Hoping to lock up something. Oh. 
Nice little elbow. Good short shots in there. Experience from Chica. You know, we don't normally see Derek Minner get dominated like this with, in terms of people just holding him down and out controlling him. He's very good at getting back to his feet, very good at hitting some missions. And Camus is having none of it. Oh, quick arm bar. Chico saw it coming. Stuffed it nicely, Chico. To no avail for Minna. 10 9 set back for Chico in the first. Another good round for Chico so far in the second, two minutes to go. You know, in the grappling with the Pettis boys and a lot of the other people over there at Rufus's, you can imagine how quick the two Pettis boys can hit arm bars and guillotines from underneath, how quick their hips can transition. Chico's seen it a million times at a very quick rate of speed. So you can see that he, he adjusts very well when Minner tries to hit him. Chico going for an arm triangle here, buddy. He's sliding across. He's getting this locked up. Chico looking to tap out Derek Minner here in the second round. Minner could be in trouble. Chico got to get back. Make sure get too high here. Yep. And Minner is gassed. Breathing heavy, sloppy punches. Chico on the back foot, dancing out of the way. Chico got to catch him coming in again. They go toe to toe. Wild looping punches here from Derek Minna. Chico doesn't need to get into this type of slugfest with him. He needs to sharpshoot him. Minna nice. hoping for a low single. Oh, Minna expects. You can see Minna just wincing, expecting hell to come his way. Chico takes him down to half guard position now. Mina has got nothing in the tank here. Chico with the popping elbows to the cheek. Chico is wrecking him, Michael. Look at Minner, he's in misery. You can sign the pink slips. You can sign the ownership papers. All in the name of Chico Camus. Cut on Chico's head. Won't affect him. Sure, he's had worse in shaving. Like they say, fatigue makes cowards of men. It's true. So do spiders. <laughs> At least in Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chico, dominant round. All one-way traffic. Minner doesn't even want to get up. Has to be helped onto his stool, Derek Minner. They need to bring a fire hose in and hit him with it. <laughs> Spray him off and wake him up. Quick. That was a jab. Minna ran into it headlong. He got dropped. Anytime you're moving in fast, you add power to your opponent's technique. And Minner landing a wild right hand there and then running in. He got a little bit of overconfidence and saw Chico stumble a little bit. Went sprinting in. I think you got round two, all right? Round one, I, I don't know, all right? You, got, you need this. You hear the corner there saying, I think you got round two, round one, I don't know. You know, that's being honest. It was a fairly close round. I thought Chico won it, but frankly, that's good cornering. Duke's not surrounded by dummies. Third and final. How much has Derek third Mina round, got left? Third round, you ready? You ready? Go. Low single was the call, and Sakuraba style low single is what Chico does. Like to see the head on the inside on that so that somebody can't take an angle on you like that. Boy, head on the inside. Chico got to protect the neck here. There's Mina going for that guillotine. Go for a Dars here potentially. Chico doing a good job defending. One thing about Minner, no matter how tired he gets, he will keep working. 
now between rounds Pat scorecard does appear on the giant screens inside the arena so chances are that Minna's corner saw Pat's card and suggested that Minna is trailing by two rounds and they've got to be you know recognizing the situation great transition by Chico to get that takedown that was quick Let's go to Ron. Michael, you're exactly right. In Miller's corner, there was a, a sense of urgency. They did see Pat scores go up on the board, and right away they were like, you got to finish this fight. You've got to get him down, choke him out, or go for the knockout. So they saw it, and uh, there is a sense of urgency now. Thanks, Ron. Keep roving. She going to the guard of Mina. Mina taking some flush punches off the killed in knuckles on the left. Tell you what, Chico looks. Fresh. Minner needs to create a scramble. Just go for stuff. Chico trying to slice with that right elbow. Chico dropped his weight quick to block that arm bar. Minner still got the arm trapped. And here Derek Minna's corner saying we've got to get up now. Desperation is Ron said halfway through the third and final. Chico controlling underhook position with that right arm. Rendering a wrestler basically worthless on the ground. Monopoly man is impressed. Chico transition and moving up the body. Holy cow. Mina grimacing. Gives his back. Chico's going to try and sink a choke. We're calling Chico Gracie from now on. <laughs> Holy cow. This boy went from striker to grappler. Blood coming from somewhere in the face of Mina. Chico's going to open him up a little more. Oh, back of the head. He's got to be careful. Don't get the cue. Picking his shots now, doing a number on Mina. Mina flattened up like a pancake, just being abused here. Mina's not even trying to get up. Referee step in. Referee can stop this now. Say it a little louder so that he actually does. Kevin says to Charles, if you've got to stop it. Yeah, but he's Derek Mina's giving the thumbs up to Charles. One minute remaining. It is all. One-way traffic the Chico Cavs. Domination, obliteration. You tell me where Minna's going from there. Maybe to the hospital. That's what I'm thinking. Minna gets out. Minna has 35 seconds to find a miracle. Chico got sloppy there. Half a minute now. And Kevin straight back on top of it. Minner's got nothing left. Chico has just pulverized him in this round. That's the best I've ever seen Chico look. This is incredible. I love it. Absolute abuse. Don't want any late DQ here. Chico going to take this one easily. He's going to move into the top five, no doubt about it. Tell you what, Pat. Listen to this for a matchup. Leandro Higo, Chico Camus, possibly. Oh, I like that fight. <laughs> Chico Camus can stand up and bang with him, right? You know what? Even Chico Camus and Stephen Ocho Peterson. That'd be a ripper. Chico Camus, Boston Seven, so many possibilities that Legacy Fighting Alliance now presents us. Great fights. Derek Minner just fatigued fairly early on, throws a big uppercut, misses. Chico hits that low single with the head on the outside, almost giving up the angle here and getting himself in trouble. 
Like I say, I love to see the head on the inside when you hit that low single. Protect yourself from that. But Chico, great grappling, flattening out the wrestler. Minner is usually the one administering a beating on the ground. Um, he received a lot of punishment from Camus in this one. Really solid performance out of Chico Camus. And he just launched himself into the top five. Pachoy, this is taking so long to tabulate cage side. It should be a no-brainer. I hope there is not a shonky bit of judging here. Usually Amani, in, the sense, in this setting. Daddy's coming Don't home. Don't jinx four, us. Yo, yo, it's Damien. I miss you, baby. I miss you. Okay, let's get to my Kindle now. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, we go to the judges' scorecards. You judges score the bout 29, 28, 29, 28, and 30, 26. All for your winner in by unanimous decision, Chico K O M K O.